Welcome back to MK Sports Cars. It's Operation Organizer Chaos this week as we've fully moved into the new digs. The builds are really taking form, especially cup car number two with presents from RLM Racing. Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. Hold on things. Four corny birds, three French and two turtle dogs. <laughs> it's not even Christmas yet. Right guys, well welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Well, where are we today? As you can see, we're gonna give you a bit of a treat. We're into the new MK Sports Cars headquarters here in Kestrel Park. We're still on the move a little bit, as we're about 85% done, a lot of stuff to move over. So bear with us a little bit longer while we get organized in what we're doing. But as we walk around, we'll show you what we've been doing. But basically, upstairs is a mezzanine floor that's gonna have the parts department. Downstairs is gonna be the build bays. And in the corner, we've got a small fabrication area. But all of this area here is gonna be turned into a sort of showroom section that we're standing in at the moment. And while we're here, well, let's start with a couple of the cars that we've been bun on with here. So firstly, this is a Cup 200 car. This is Cup 100, 200, sorry, <laughs> number two. So number one has been out at uh, Pembury, as you would have seen. Number two here is being built now. Uh, we're into about seven seven days, I think, on the build now. And this one, Cup 200 has been built really to come together quite quickly as a car, whereas the other cars you see here are very custom to each customer uh, in what they want, individual with carbon interiors or Bluetooth stuff or different dashboard, different switches. The Cup 200 car is very much, every car is the same. Runs the same bodywork, same wheels, same tyres, same wishbone, same steering column, same roll cage, same engine all the configurations out, so it's very, very easy and quick to bolt together. So as you can see from where it started seven days ago, all the corners are on, suspension's all on, diffs in, all the bodywork's been fitted, that's the new Essex bodywork, actually takes less than a day to fit it now, it's very, very quick. Um, we've got the new aero wind deflector, which is race car application really designed for, a small wind deflector, because we don't have a passenger seat, it's just to then push you over the hair, stop it getting under you, roof uh, under your helmet here so uh, under the bonnet here we're not quite finished as you will see but gen 2 booster in there um, though that's all in uh, fire extinguisher system all plumbed in we go in tegel master cylinders we've got a new three-piece uh, steering column in here uh, that's a collapsible one uh, under the front here i'll pop this up so you can see these are on a quick release as well on the nose cone so Makes life a lot easier to access it. Let's give that a see, quick enough anyway, quicker than a nut and bolt. <laughs> a little bit of fettling there and that hole to do, but so on the front, a little bit of dust. Uh, we've got this header set um, here, header tank and oil catch tank all in one. This gets plumbed in to the engine and then we'll have a breather filter. Got the nice alley catch tank with a 25 psi cap and then the black. Uh, we've done with the black pack on this particular one, that's a 70 mil core rad. And then we've got the 25 row oil cooler, which has got to be bolted on there, which we have got here in a box somewhere, but it's all been off to all the bracketry to be powder coated, all the bulkhead panels, they're all to be powdered, they're in for powder coat, should be here today, tomorrow, um, and they'll all start getting fitted up. So that's looking really strong under there. It's all braided lines right the way through, all braided hoses, all the way through into the calipers here. Um, so it's one, one line on each corner and basically if you knock a corner off this one line will replace all four corners. Um, on the top front here on the wishbone um, we've gone to a rose joint affair, it's an M14 rose joint uh, which bolts straight through the top upright so we can basically unbolt that, turn it and your camera adjustments really really super quick. Uh, same as the push rods on the suspension here, these are all left hand and right hand fed so you can just wind this to adjust the suspension height up and down super quick, that's pretty much a standard but bonded bush on the uh, top and bottom wishbones now as well, so it's a special thing really for the, for the Cup 200. Right, so where we were moving on to the interior, it's a pretty simple affair, as a race car you'd expect. Um, we have um, a six point harness on these. These are hands device ones um, as well, uh, with, a, with a small um, lightweight buckles on them as well. That comes through here and then through the seat here for the six point and we have an extra bar at the back here where we mount the six point harness to for, uh, for the clutch area strap. We've got um, steering column here which is a uh, quick release boss. This column is all 
machined up and splined into one. So there's no weld on boss, it is part of the column. So it's a self-aligning one. You pop this on and you can literally rotate it and it'll go into position. A standard GRP seat in here, and then we a simple, really simple uh, aluminium interior pack, and we have the gear lever and all that going in next. But all the all the lines are run through front to back on here. They're all tied in. Uh, we have these straps that go in in here that are welded in, and everything fixed on those, so it's nice and neat and team. Yeah, really simple and serviceable, um, which is what we try to do with the vehicle. Yep. Right, moving on to the back. Um, this is going to be the boot cover. This is going to be for the uh, SX bodywork and the FI cage. Very, very simple. Again, weighs nothing. Very light. So it'll allow quick access. There's no difference to a normal one. Over the harness holes and it'll pop her in place. Uh, very quick and very easy to change. Because the FIA cage fitted as standard on these. And then when you look into the back area here, we have uh, the standard uh, Sierra differential, which you use in these with a 338. Uh, LSD unit. The uh, fire extinguisher, which is obviously compliant for FIA now, which is uh, the 2020 version, that's all plumbed in. Um, you've got Protect shocks all round on this, and we've got the low impact bars that are in here for the tank, and the fuel tank has gone in. What we've done on this, really simple affair. It's bolts into the top here, um, and we've got all in one thing. This actually unbolts and comes out. You've got the fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator and fuel are all built into the tank and then the fuel sender here. So this actually we can replace or change or service super quick. Um, so yeah, that's kind of back end new Essex body work that's done here. It's all blended in arches, etc. cetera. Um, exhaust system is all on our standard uh, higher booster system as well. Um, but there's a couple of bits on the inside we wanted to show you, which Anna won't be able to do, but pedal box, We've got a new version of that. I'll give you one. Here's, here's one we made earlier, so to speak. Um, we've moved across on these cars, so now the pedal box uh, is very, very smart indeed. Uh, more machining done and also all branded up with the uh, MK logos, which I think um, looks super sharp. Spring-loaded accelerator, as we did on the last set. Um, but that's what's in this particular car, and I think you'll agree. Very strong. Um, it's not super lightweight, because you'd expect it to have a bit of weight to it for strength. So, um, but super reliable which is what we're after well, well i've been talking about the car sam has just taken delivery uh, of a box from our partners here uh, i think you know our partners is it says it on the box so yeah the guys there we've got some very nice parts just arriving don't actually know what's in that one let's have a look that's what's in that one. Oh my lordy how beautiful are they these billet throttle bodies how nice are those? So these are going to be bolted on to the booster engine. Super, su oh, that is so nice. You want to wear it like a watch. That is gorgeous. So yeah, these, these will be going on to the engine. Uh, we'll be bolting them on next. That's one of the parts that have uh, come in. Um, and that's all again, that's all part of um, the Cup 200 car single mate race series. It will run these throttle bodies, it will run Hopefully in here then, if we go into the box of goodies, we'll see some other nice stuff. So this is the loom. So we've got uh, the loom in from that. Uh, and this is the engine loom. And then we've got the auxiliary loom here as well, which is very, very simple. Um, but again, it's got all the bits labelled up for the fuel pump here. You know, rear lights, etc. You might be able to zoom in on that all labelled up nicely. Um, a simple loom for a race car. Again, idea is to, to keep it reliable. Nicely branded up while M filter. That will go on. I love gonna love bolting all these bits on. Super exciting. And um, we've got all the accessories to go in there with that, the back plates and uh, injectors and stuff. And I believe this, what do you think guys? What do you think's in here? Can you tell what it is yet? Well, let's have a look. What's in here? It's like Christmas come early. Well, I know what that is. That is the Life ECU. All branded up as well. So it runs Life ECU and everything else. So that will get bolted on. Um, well, so in theory, by the next week, this thing will be running. I think two days tops, this thing will be running. Right, over here we've got hashtag Brian's car. Well, we've been on with that, as you know. Um, pretty much buttoning up now. So it's really into... I'm going to say test mode really now, just doing some testing on it. It's all pretty much done. 
under here, under this bonnet. We'll have a look quickly. It's got all the nice race mirrors on it, etc. on there, the nice carbon effect race mirrors. They're pretty sweet. And then we're buttoning up under the bonnet here. Um, all the uh, old breather lines have gone in for, to the catch tank, header tank, battery mount, bulkhead panel, a uh, few other bits, just to, once we've done testing to tidy up, but that, that's all really. So it's all pretty much buttoned up there. Uh, obviously it's on the, you've seen it before, but obviously you see on the uh, Bluetooth here for the paddles. And um, we've just put in the last bit, which is for the fire extinguisher system here, the pull cord. Um, that's gone in, tunnel top finish fit. And basically under the rear end is the same as the uh, Cup 200 car with all the fire extinguisher system that mounted at the back. Uh, that's just a requirement because it has to be within 300 mil of the exterior of the bodywork. So that's why we don't put them down in the footwell. So there's a bit of room there. So that's all buttoned up, but yeah, looking really super sharp, super killer. Well, we'll see if she starts now then. So we've got the power switch and the start button in on this one is on the steering wheel. Let's give it a go. Sweet. Sounds really cool. Nice levy. And then on here, as you can see, which is really unique, Obviously, you can actually put it into gear. Probably can't see that, but it's changing gear from here. So I can literally pull away. <laughs> yep. That is absolutely sickly sick. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, not that you want to drive down the road your steering wheel and everything but that's uh, in your hands but yeah she's looking sharp a um, couple of last things to do which is um, yellow stripe pack so that'll be it and then get it tested and then hopefully off to the customer right over here at hashtag Ted's car same pretty much as um, hashtag Brian's car there but this is going to be a road legal car same principle we're buttoning up with the wire and everything else. It did actually have this started this morning. It does all start and run. Uh, we're just doing some final testing on some of the wiring, etc. there. But again, it's got the Bluetooth on the uh, paddle shift here as well, which is, I mean, it's just a very, very clever design. You know, it's modern tech. You've got to say it's amazing. Um, on this particular one, I do believe it's going to have, um, just on this section here, we're going to be doing a carbon tube, which I think should be in here. So we've got some nice carbon tube here that's going to be uh, covering up this section here to finish off that, make it really smart, neat and tidy. Uh, this is on at the moment, he is having a roll cage as well, but the boot box has been done and a roll, car, roll bar, so to speak, in that ready, just really more for an IVA spec car and everything else. Race cars are very, very different, like the Cup 200, don't have to worry about radiuses and everything else and all the sharp edges and bits and bobs like that that comply. These are very different, obviously you're looking to comply with the M1 manual standards. So yeah, we're on with this, but Adrian's cracking on with the wiring. So follow me, let's have a little nosy what we're up to in here. Now, we're still in a little bit of disarray, unfortunately, because, you know, trying to move over, even no matter how much square footage you've got, just the lighting to go, and we have electrical wiring in this bed, and then you have four build bays here, two bay bills here, two build bays there as well. Um, that'll move along. It's all going to be benched up. We've got all nice new benches to go in. And then uh, this will come into a showroom section, and we'll leave that ready for a customer viewing area. And then in this section, unfortunately, we're doing the uh, internet, and. There's a lot of cabling, internet, and wiring, and connected everything in here. Um, as you can see, lots of wires going on, and then this is going to be a small fabrication area um, where we'll be doing anything that's localised, really. Uh, not just production, but more of the localised stuff that we need to, when we need to make parts, custom parts, etc. If you're bringing your vehicle in for, I don't know, maybe a modification of exhaust, maybe something custom that you need to be doing on it. So this area is going to be built for that. Right in this section here, you're going to be, uh, well, when you come in the main door, we're going to have a staircase here, which is there. And it's going up, as you can see, they're starting to fit out the parts department upstairs. There's a lot of work going on in the background there. Sorry about the noise, but that's, we're still very much in process of building and constructing. Um, parts department will be great up there. There'll be a counter there, and you'll be able to uh, peruse and have a look at what you want as well. And then what we'll do, we head on our office, office areas this way. Plenty of parking outside, so if you're coming in my cars, loads of parking outside. We've got offices in here, uh, where myself and Sam will be based in here. Um, yeah, it's a nice roomy area. I mean, it's very light, very bright. It's gonna be great, so it's a meet and greet area for you. And then we go upstairs. 
So upstairs here, this is where um, you'll probably come up here and uh, this is going to be an uh, office area here, station, and then we've got a meeting room at the back here, which has been partitioned off uh, as well. So there'll be uh, your meet and greet room where you'll be able to come and have a chat, have a coffee, have a sit, discuss your vehicle specs, details, etc. This is all going to be a nice little space, already uh, all done for you, so you can relax and uh, chill out. Or we go downstairs and we can show you the vehicles. So there'll be plenty of opportunities to look at the vehicles and test drive as well. So it's kind of where we're at at the stage of the building at the moment. So we're outside here with the MK Indy RR uh, S2000. Hashtag Nigel's car, hashtag camo wrap. It's pretty much on the orange and black theme. You probably followed its story while it's been built, etc. over the last time. It's had a few additions to it now. Uh, Nigel supplied his uh, tyres that he particularly wanted on it, the Yokohamas, branded up, etc. And uh, it's been IV-aid, uh, all getting ready for road legal now, just waiting for the paperwork to come through on that. But while we're in the interim period, it's now hit the dyno. Right, while we're here, we've been talking about all these cars. Well, obviously there's a bit of a chassis queue, so do you know what's going on? Well, it's up there. There's a chassis delivery schedule. Um, we're trying to keep on track as best we can. If you can get yourself in the queue, you know where we are. Phone call, email. Right, while we're talking about uh, cars and driving them and things like that, well, the kit stop. This is where we're going to be going. We're going to be doing open days and open evenings coming up. So we'll keep yourself posted on our social medias there. You'll see the kit stop come up and it's all about any brand, any kit car, whatever it is, all about a meet and greet here. Uh, we'll be tying up some dates in the calendars in, in evening sessions as well, which I think would be really cool. Somewhere for you to come and have a little drive out. Right, that's it from the new MK Sports Cars headquarters for this week. Well, hopefully you like what we're doing. You'll press the like button and the subscribe button and we'll catch you next week.